It's almost exactly 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, May the 22nd, 2019. And I'm back out here at the Goat Milk Stuff Farm in Scottsboro, Indiana. This is the third time on this channel that I've been out here. Um, and I'm on my way out to Terre Haute, Indiana for the Banks of the Wabash Festival. And wanted to come by here again this time to try some things at their lunch counter. The core of the business is the goat milk soap and cheese. There's the barns right there in the back where they keep all the goats. They even have a lot of tourist kind of tours and stuff through here. So that is the core of the business. The lunch counter is on the periphery. They don't make a whole lot of, off of that and uh, they only have it open until one o'clock in the afternoon. Now last, last time I was here, I got here around three o'clock like I am now because uh, I like to sleep in. Sue me. <laughs> But I realized that there is a way that you could actually call in your order, have them fix it, and keep it here for whenever you come in. And they even have a nice way to order it online. You don't have to order it by, the, by phone. It, they even have a, a cart. Really easy to use website as far as ordering your food online. Um, so I got actually two different meals had them make it. They said they're going to save it, maybe heat it up for me. So if I haven't made this clear yet, I absolutely love goat milk, anything goat milk. I use almost exclusively goat milk soap whenever I shower and when I can find it in a place like this. Well, this, this is what I ended up buying. Uh, the chicken parm and a Reuben. Now this, the Reuben, I'm going to save for later. Uh, you know what, let me turn this around so you can see it better. This is the grilled chicken parm on sourdough bread with an extra pickle on the side and the Reuben. Uh, now the Reuben is the one I'm going to save for later because they, Reubens taste fine uh, after they've been refrigerated. They almost age really well. I, I did that on purpose. I ordered extra so I could have more stuff from the goat milk farm to eat tomorrow. And um, so a couple of side orders I got with it. The uh, the broccoli and cheese soup and some coleslaw. So let's see, how does this taste? Mm. Oh my goodness. There's some kind of like a goat milk feta that's been put down in there. And these spices, the palm spices, are expertly done. Wow. I have never been disappointed with anything from that counter over there, from this kitchen. These guys, this family, really knows what they're doing. Now, let's find out, is the broccoli and cheese also made with goat milk cheese? Wow. <laughs> wow. It's even got some bacon in it. Time for dessert now, and this is actually a new menu item for them. Goat milk cheesecake. I've had goat milk ice cream here that was excellent. Um, let's try the Oreo. Let's go with the, let's go with the Oreo. Now this uh, front area, the area you come to immediately as you come into the parking lot, is actually the store where they sell their soaps and powders and lip balms and all of that stuff. Uh, so while I am here, I'm going to pick up some Pure, which is their um, like completely non-fragrance kind. Works really good for people with uh, sensitive skin. I'm just noticing that under the unscented line, it's not just purity. There's also a charcoal. There's one that's specially made for hair, the shampoo kind, even a pet. Uh, I'm gonna get one of these, of course, but I think I'm also gonna get uh, one of these, too. And a half bar of the charcoal as well, just, just because I wanna see. I wanna see how that works. I'm back in the camper now, about to put this away and uh, 
continue on my trip. The, the haul I ended up coming away with, of course, those uh, three bars of soap there, uh, some butter pecan goat milk fudge, and this this cheese right here that I've had before, and I know that it makes fantastic grilled cheese sandwiches. It's just called the Garden uh, Chiver, which is uh, some fancy word for spreadable cheese, and uh, so I got that, and uh, and then of course lunch for tomorrow. Um, so if anybody's curious about their contact information, here's this, and uh, they're not a sponsor. I just really like these large homeschool family, family-owned businesses, uh, being as I was homeschooled for a while myself, and I know they make fantastic stuff. So I want to support them as much as I can. So give them a look. I know that their mail order service has a nice, efficient turnaround because I've mail ordered from them before. So if any of these soaps, creams, lip balms, any of that kind of stuff, I think they might even be uh, mail ordering some cheeses. Give them some love. Send them a message. Let them know I sent you. It is 8.30 now and we are here in Terre Haute, Indiana at the, um, the grounds of the Banks of the Wabash Festival. And uh, there he is. Nestor's already settled in. And uh, for my new subscribers, he's got a pet door where he goes in and out. His food and water, air conditioning, is in there. And then this is here, his catio, so that he can get out and get into the sun, stare around, do all of his cat things out here. And uh, this is my space right here between that steak and that steak right there. I always appreciate it when they mark your, your name on a steak and they make it clear exactly where you set up. You don't even have to find the organizer and check in. Just look for your flag, look for your steak. Fold up bicycle is right here, chained to the tongue of the camper. And then on the back side, down here is where they're gonna have some uh, wrestling and we're talking high school gymnasium level wrestling really fun to watch and this whole field is where I tested my first drone out last year around the same time I'd bought it from a Toys R Us uh, closing cell and now that I've gotten the other one from Ollie is the little $30 drone that I haven't tried out yet At some point during the week I'm going to try it out here in this nice wide open field also, down here in this corner by the river, there is a nice walking trail that has mulberry trees. And I've eaten myself silly on mulberries before going down there. And uh, I also got, got some small mulberry saplings that I ended up planting on my dad's property uh, from there last year. And so, now that I've got the bike and the GoPro and the beautiful river and the trail, some point during the week, of course, I'm also going to give you guys a nice artistic trail riding video so look forward to that as far as my tent setup goes we we're not supposed to start until five o'clock tomorrow so I don't see setting the tent up now and risking having it blow over overnight you know one less night with the tent set up the better so we'll just do that tomorrow morning but for tonight, I think I would like to explore Terre Haute's own little health food store. This one known as Fresh Time Farmer's Market. Now, if I haven't made this clear yet, guys, I absolutely adore health food stores. Uh, when I was lived back in Atlanta, I went to Whole Foods Market. It seemed like every other day. also love Fresh Market, Trader Joe's. And this is actually the second Fresh Time store I've been in. They keep it fancy in here. High dollar, but some really wholesome food. So let's see what we can find. Grilled salmon, or salmon, $8. A little too rich for my blood. Applegate, Applegate uncured turkey hot dogs. Oh man, I haven't seen these since, well, since I left Atlanta. Oh yes, definitely. Jackfruits. Uh, I've never actually eaten this, but 
you can see from the outside, the whole fruit before it's cut up is gigantic and kind of scary looking on the outside. I, what I do know about this is that these are sections that do peel out and you can cook them up uh, the same way you do meat or giant portobello mushrooms. You can just put meat seasoning on them. A lot of veg vegetarians use them in, in sandwiches and stuff as a, as a substitute for meat. Uh, I'm not really prepared to do that today though. That's a little more experimental for me than what I'm going after right now. On the other hand, pre-cut jicama straws for only four dollars? Yes! Sign me up. Yeah, I'll do that. Got strawberry rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb. And that's that's just for a dollar sixty-nine. Yeah, I, I'd like to try that. Also, I'm kind of a sucker for anything. Anything key lime. Dollar ninety-nine is a little expensive, but hey, I'm in an adventurous mood. I can't believe it. I, I found a whole grain frozen waffle. They exist. They actually exist. Take a look at the ingredients. Water, Vans whole grain mix with whole wheat, oats, barley, brown rice, dark rye, pressed oil, uh, canola oil, and cane sugar. There's no, there's no enriched flour or bleached flour in here at all. It's a completely whole grain frozen waffle and for what what was it about 350 oh my goodness yeah okay hello breakfast see these these flat gelato containers these are actually the right size to fit in those small freezers up in them in a mini fridge like the one in my camper I've eaten a lot of gelato because of the shape of the container it actually fits uh, I would be getting one of these because they're they're six dollars and you've got like oh, there's a ca cappuccino <laughs> actual cappuccino gelato yeah I would be getting that but you know what I've got a lot of other kind of sweets and stuff that I need to work through before I go eating this but granted before the end of the week one of these will be in my freezer I'll go ahead and get myself a nice generous handful of these uh, these sugar snap peas because um, uh, I actually eat them completely raw. If you've never done that, give it a try. They're actually really good that way. Now we get to the bulk section. I really like this because even though these are expensive by the pound, you can get as small amount as you want. Like this is just a few ounces right here as just one person. That's really all the dried dates that I need. And I'm also gonna get some of these black figs, <laughs> at 8.99 a pound. Just, just gonna get a few, uh, a few tongs full of them. Now, guys, I know these things look ugly, but please give figs a chance. If you like fig newtons, you'll probably like these too. They, uh, despite the hideous look, they are quite delicious. Now, when you get the bulk stuff, before you go up to the counter, just uh. Grab one of these little twist tie things and take one of their writing utensils and write down the code that's on top of the bin. This one is bin number 254. Just write that on the twist tie, put that around the top of it, and that way they'll know how to, uh, to ring these up. Back in the camper now. Don't mess with my yogurt. I'm trying some of the strawberry rhubarb yogurt with the jicama straw. It is dinner time after all. Wow, mmm, it is so good. It is just so raw and earthy and like, oh man, I just love that. A little bit of hint of the strawberry there, not too sweet. Got the uh, the crispiness of the of the jicama. Wow, guys, be adventurous with your eating, guys. Go go out, explore some of these health food stores. Find some strange stuff, man. Make some memories. Um, well, that pretty much gets you guys caught up to where I am now. Tomorrow morning, got to set up. It'll be open by 5. Probably find some other things to get into before then. Um, please check back. Uh, there's going to be lots of other videos coming up throughout the week. Um, if you like this one, please indicate so by hitting that thumbs up like button. 
Leave comments, questions, suggestions, requests, something in the comment section I can reply to. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you'll start receiving notifications of all my future updates. <sighs> I look forward to seeing you in the next one.